We could not be home in Arkansas and not come to one of our favorite places that we love to camp. We enjoy the waters. Cody loves to fish. We are at Albert Pike. And Jonathan just told me that the Arkansas Game and Fish released some rainbow trout here. What? And it's been almost about 10 months since we were here last. Mm -hmm. And there was rainbow trout here the last time we were here. Yeah, the last time we were here was in the spring, yep. wasn't it? Spring of last year. Since we're here now, this probably be the last time we'll get to come to Albert Pike until maybe next year. Well, winter of next year, end of this year. We're not sure. So we're gonna take it in and we're gonna enjoy it. It is a beautiful day today. I think the high was supposed to be 74 here where we are. So it is just lovely. And there's no better way to spend a day like today but by a crystal clear creek. I mean, this is insane. My parents had a little lake house up here at Lake Greeson and we would leave Texarkana every Friday and I would spend Fridays from probably late Sundays here. So this is where I spent my whole childhood outdoor activities is in this area. So kind of like when we were in, living in Little Rock, we would leave Friday afternoon and spend all weekend in the woods and come back late Sunday just to get up and go to work Monday and then do it all over again the next weekend. Yeah. Oh. And I'm probably, yeah. I hope I catch something, y'all. I feel like you should. Yeah. That sun is so strong today, so you know me. I'm gonna catch up with my tan. I'm losing a little bit of it, because when we left the beach, doesn't take long. But anyway, I just like to enjoy this beautiful weather. Couldn't ask for a better day. Any bites? No bites. But I'm not the only one. I just talked to a gentleman named Todd, and he has been here for five hours and hasn't had a single bite. Maybe it's too warm. Is I don't know. Thing? They could be. For trout? He could be. He mm -hmm. said it's either too warm. The water's freezing, mm -hmm. but I think that or they've all moved to deeper holes down there, down the corner. And I've held Kelly hostage here for a few hours now. Yeah, it was really sunny and warm, and now it's kind of cloudy. <laughs> I'm getting cold now. <laughs> you ready to start a fire or something? Yeah. Let's go find camp. We made it into our spot. I was kind of nervous. So I was like, oh, I hope we can make it. But this is our favorite spot. We've done several vlogs here and I always have to walk down here to check out the creek first thing. Isn't it beautiful? love this area so excited that we got here and i definitely want to build a fire that's the first thing i want to do but we still have like a little bit of trash to pick up it's always i don't know what it is with albert pike but it's always like the most random stuff i don't know what this is that was left here i thought it was floor mats that go on a car but i don't know what it is yeah so we'll have to pick that up Fire pit used to be right here, but it's been moved. 
or it probably washed away in a flood. So it looks like they've moved the fire pit over here, which this is where we used to put our tent. And we have more trash that is used for decoration. All right, let's get camp set up and get a fire going. Camp is set up, voila, we're done. And look at this view right outside that window, that door. Can y'all believe we were able to make it back to the <laughs> spot we used to come to all the time? Kelly was really nervous that we were gonna slide down this and not be able to get back out. And I already pulled up a little bit. It's It's got the power, especially if we got stuck the other day. Kelly's mistake yeah, the other day. Yeah, my bad. You know, I'm new at driving things like this. All right, but we made it in. Ooh, let's check the batteries. Something really cool that we just installed in our camper is lithium ion batteries. We installed two 100 amp hour lithium ions. We installed a different converter. Now our camper did not come with an a converter that you can usually flip the switch over and then convert it to a lithium ion. So we went ahead and called the company and they said, yeah, that's an easy switch. It's a couple of wires, plug and play. And we ordered that off of Amazon. I believe it was like $199. If you're interested in that, we'll list that in the description below. So we got that off Amazon. Cody and my dad put it together in probably 30 minutes. We'll say maybe an hour because we also installed a smart shunt and we'll show you that here in a little bit. So the smart shunt we ordered from Battleborn and that's exactly where we ordered the batteries from. It's from battlebornbatteries.com. Now the shunt helps to let you know everything about your batteries, how many volts it's pulling, how many watts, how many amp hours, and the battery life percentage. So we'll show you that, and there's an app that you can control it from. Now we got that because I was told that this will not work, be as accurate. But let me tell you, it says full, and the last time we plugged our camper in was how many days ago? Four or five days. Four or five days ago was the last time we plugged our camper in. It will show you the shunt and the app here in a little bit. You need a trash bag? Please, please. Oh, you've got the trash. I got the trash. Let's get one. There you go. Thank you.
Are y'all hungry? Yeah. Let's get dinner started. But before Kelly starts cooking, she wanted to talk to y'all about the battery situation. Now, listen, I don't know much about this battery situation. That's all Kelly. Yeah, you do. All right, y'all. So what we got here is Kelly's dad and I installed, actually we installed a couple of things. So the first thing we did was install hinges so that I can open this without having a screw gun. I don't understand why that's the case. So here are the Battleborn batteries. They're each 100 amp hour. And here is the smart shunt that Kelly was talking about earlier that gives you the ability to look at your cell phone and Bluetooth to be able to check on the status of the battery and how it's charging. So the smart shunt is really cool because sometimes this won't be accurate anymore when you get lithium ion batteries. Right now, you can pull up an app, it's all Bluetooth, so even if you don't have phone service, you can pull up the app. This is the first time that we had a full charge and we let it go. So what I'm going by right now is the voltage. Now lithium ion batteries from what I researched can be fully charged at 14.4 volts, I believe. And then you can deplete them down to 4.0 volts. I don't think we're gonna run it down all the way that far. I'm thinking 5.0 or 6.0, because we don't wanna destroy the batteries. We wanna have the fullest long life that the batteries will give us, which is anywhere from eight to 10 years on lithium ion. So we thought that was really cool. We can't use our outlets here. If we wanted to do that, we would have to have gone with the Victron inverter converter. We didn't go that route because we are A, on a weight limit and B, on a storage limit with that. That unit is pretty big. It also takes a lot of time to install. If you have the time for it, great. I commend you for that. But this was easy for us. This was a plug and play. Also, this converter does have the manual shut off. So whenever you have charged past that point, it shuts it off. Even if you're still plugged into shore power, it does not charge it anymore until it depletes in voltage. That's our new toy and we're excited. This is the first time that we really test it. Like I've said, we're gonna have to run it down a couple times and recharge it and set the state of charge and then we'll be good to go. And we'll let you know how it continues to work. Before we installed these about a week ago, we were getting to the point where we would get three days out of the deep cycle acid batteries. But pushing right, it. pushing it. What we would do is turn the water pump on and the lights would surge after two days. And we, as Kelly said, have been without plugging it in going on five, six days. Well, yeah. And I'll just turn on the water. Look at that. No surge. No surge. It's just full power. And I'm gonna make it real fancy in here and turn on these lights. It's glorious. All right, let's get to cooking. Tonight we are cooking a dish out of gourmet in the forest. We are gonna be cooking the roasted squash pasta. The main ingredient in this dish is an acorn squash. Acorn squashes are kinda of hard, so Kelly wants me to cut it for her. I don't blame her, it scares me, I'm scared right now. Oh.
morning, everyone. Good morning, y'all. A cold front blew in last night, and you wouldn't believe it, but we tried sleeping through a little bit of hell. Pea-sized hell, nothing too serious, but it scared the crap out of Kelly, because in here, it is loud yeah. whenever stuff hits the ceiling. Well, it was we weren't asleep yet. It was 9 o'clock, and it lasted for about an hour. But I remember when I checked the weather, it said we could have a small thunderstorm at, from 9 to 10. Like, 0.18 inches of rain. But it said nothing about hell. But yesterday was high of 74, and today we're looking at only high of 42. So yes, a cold front is still blowing in. So after that rain is when the wind started picking up, and it's still it's still blowing in. And it's actually warmer right now than it's going to be whenever the low finally about comes noon. in. Brown noon. So yeah. it's probably about probably 51 degrees outside right now. It just keeps dropping. So I've asked Kelly three times what we're having for breakfast over the course of several days and I keep forgetting or I'm not listening to her when she does tell me. Yeah, which one is it? I don't know. I so are you going to tell me now or is it still going to be a surprise? Well, he asked me again last night and I said, I'm not telling you. You've got to know by now. I'm not telling you. So yeah, it's still a surprise. Just, you know, be it a husband. That's what we're here for. I'll let you see if you can guess while I'm in the process of cooking it. How about that? Okay, I'll buy that for a dollar. But since the cold front came in, I think fish might be biting today. So we're going to drive down a little ways and give myself one more chance. And I'm not going to force Kelly to come outside. She can stay in the camper since it's going to be so cold. Are you making sweet potato soft tacos? Yes. It out. I am so quick at guessing. You should remember. I should have remembered. It just clicked, huh? Well, I saw the sweet potato and I don't know what else you make with a sweet potato for breakfast besides tacos. That is not little cubes of cheese, y'all. That mm -hmm. is sweet potatoes. It's not cheddar. Alright, got all our seasonings out. My pan's hot. I'm going to go ahead and toss in the sweet potato. Now, if you have my cookbook, I'm going to go ahead and cook these potatoes the same way that I would cook the breakfast burrito potatoes. So I'm using the same seasoning and the same technique. Our potatoes are done, so I just moved them to a plate. I've got some butter in the same skillet, and we're gonna scramble some eggs and add a little bit of salt and pepper. While we're waiting on the eggs, I'm gonna shred some Monterey Jack cheese. Y'all notice that Kelly's wearing Cody's cartoon character shirt? <laughs> I wore it yesterday because it was warm, but then I was just like a little bit of a chill, and then I just didn't want to dirty up one of my shirts, so I just put and now she understands why I always like to wear that thing because it's just perfect for a little bite in the air. Not freezing temperatures, just well, a bite. I'm sure you're going to want this when you got five, so I'll have to get mine. Oh, I'll wear something thicker. It's, it's going to be cooler. Oh, yeah, that. I'm going to have to have like a sweatshirt probably. All right, also while we're waiting on the egg, which I'll put in too soon, we are going to toast some tortillas. Eggs are scrambled. We're gonna add our potatoes into the skillet and mix those around with the eggs. Sprinkle with some cheese. And I do have my burner turned off, by the way. All right, we're gonna cover and let the cheese melt. Working on our last tortilla and we're gonna go ahead and build a plate. Okay, and that's it. And we're gonna put a little bit of hot sauce because we like hot sauce. Mm. Mm. I knew you were about to grab that. <laughs> those sweet potatoes with this hot sauce. So the hot sauce we always use is, can't pronounce that, I'll probably say it wrong, but this Tapatio? is the Tapatio. This is the hot sauce we always use. And it has a sweet, like, hint of sweetness to it. Pairs very well with the sweet potato. About to head down the river. Like I was saying earlier, let's see if I can catch anything. And I'm really starting to think it's a little bit colder than we thought. I forgot to add that the temperature we check is Langley, Arkansas, and it's always 10 degrees colder here. So it might have already been in the 40s and it might be getting down to the 30s, maybe even the 20s. And I'll take a gander right now. 
You gotta lock everything up. I just don't stand up here. It's so cold. <laughs> Oh man, I want to catch them. So I really want to catch some fish. I want to freeze them up for us to have fish later on. So it's 41 degrees right now. But the wind just feels like ice when it hits you. Made it to the Albert Pike day use area and it has dropped. I think it's 39 now. Kelly's calling me crazy. She says she's going upstairs in the house. Yeah, I'm gonna get comfy cozy while he fishes. And hey, it's a win-win situation. Yeah, I'm starting to rethink my situation. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna get something warmer though. Blah, 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 blah. Look at me. I'm getting cozy and asked Cody if he was jealous. No, I'm not jealous. <laughs> okay, I'm a little jealous, but I'm warmed up a little. We'll see. Got my beanie on. All right, Angel Princess, let's see if I can catch some fish for a future dinner. Okay. That's my game plan. Put mm -hmm. it in the freezer up here in a Ziploc bag. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm gonna have the time of my life. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't even been here for a few seconds, but I'm already seeing trout jump right here. I'm thinking the day's gonna be a better day. I think yesterday was just a little too warm. So this is Albert Pike's public day use area. There's uh, just grills, pullouts for people to come, and this is a swimming beach area. This is a big hole, and that's actually private property over there. They have cabins that people own, and this is the only spot in all of this region that has that many houses at it, so to speak. Those people are lucky. I wish I could have a little piece of property right there. That'd be pretty, pretty awesome. But look how beautiful this is. Today, I'm gonna to start out with my open cast. First off, I just wanna see if they bite anything. So I'm gonna use a rooster tail. That's real popular here in Arkansas and see if I can at least get one bite. All right, got one. That's a good looking little trout, but it is little and I want something a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna let that little guy go. Now that I've caught one on that, I think I might try and do a little regular fly fishing now. Y'all, caught my second trout. Can you believe I'm actually catching something today? Isn't that a beaut? And that was gonna be my last cast. I was gonna go ahead and call it. I've been out here for, I mean, hours and hours, probably three hours, and that's the only two I caught. But hey, I caught fish, and y'all know I never catch fish, ever. I'm the worst fisherman on the planet. Let me go see how cozy and warm Kelly's been. You ready? You I caught one more. And it was it was a big one. It was it was the biggest one I've caught in a while. But since it's so late in the day, I didn't feel like cleaning it, to be honest with you. 
I'm ready to go and I'm freezing up. I don't wanna freeze my hands out anymore. Well, y'all, I think that's it of this little trip. We're gonna go find a spot to set up and he's gonna get warm and cozy. I am gonna get warm and cozy. <laughs> However, we'll catch you on the other. See you next time.